I think a lot of these individuals do feel forgotten. I think a lot of times like how people don't make eye contact when people are on the side of the street or the road, um, kind of like turn away, pretend that they can't hear them. It's such, an, it's such a scary notion to think that that could be you um, or someone that you love. So before coming here, I definitely would, you know, was aware and did stuff, um, but as far as really being comfortable with engaging and really seeing um, them beyond what their, the, my perceived notion was probably, like I was too intimidated, too scared to even go down that road. Now working here, I see it completely differently. They're human just like the rest of us. They have their bad moments just like the rest of us. Um, and their bad moments are compounded by so many more things that I can comprehend. I haven't had to go through an ounce of like what they've had to experience on a daily um, basis, let alone years of that. Every person that comes to the door is different. Every story is different. Every scenario is different. Everybody's looking for something different. So it really challenges your ability to meet people's needs where they're at, depending on what they're looking for, what their experience, what they're coming in with. So when you're ever prioritizing your day or week, I make a long to-do list and then there's immediately things that you realize you have to kind of discern between like what is urgent, important, and can be delegated or delayed. <laughs> I live by the philosophy that I'm only as good to my staff and my clients as I am to myself. So if I can't take care of myself, I can't do anything for anyone else. I guess emotionally, uh, it, it, can be, it can be draining at times, it can be frustrating at times, it can be sad at times, it can be extremely happy at times. The balance comes from the support that I have at Shepherds. If it's an emergency, they can go to the mission or they can go to the hospital. Everyone recognizes that this is a hard job um, and it's, a, it's a, a hard thing to, you know, kind of work independently that they have the best success of the clients and the organization is just being there for each other and supporting each other however they can. I think when you not have gone through this system and you've not experienced homelessness, we really take a lot of things for granted and that's one of the amazing parts about working here is I really see um, what goes into having a, a sustainable, long and happy life and uh, one that's you know out of the shelter system and how everything is put back into perspective. at the Oaks. This is like our, uh, it's a supportive housing for long-term managed alcohol. Um, so people who have been in the managed alcohol program and stabilized, they get transitioned here and become residents. So they have their own apartments and units. Um, their meals are provided for them. Um, so basically it's a place for them to establish a home and a community, um, make friends, and it's a great place for their family to come and visit them and see how great they're doing. I think the community at the Oaks is really unique. Um, they're really close. Uh, the clients, everybody has moments where they don't like, you know, their next door neighbor or maybe their roommate. <laughs> but uh, there's such a community there that they really take care of each other. Um, they'll let you know when someone's, you know, just a little bit off. Um, they feel when someone's not doing well it really affects them all. When someone passes, it's like losing a family member. Um, so I think the community there is what really astounds me. Like these individuals have made themselves a home and they've made themselves a family and friends. Um, and a lot of them don't always go in with that. Lots of faces. He's still here. Yeah. She's still here. Yeah. That's uh, Kenny. Corrine. I didn't know these two. He was Stevie. here, but I wasn't here when he was Stevie, here. yeah. Stevie was here when I was here. We were yeah. here. Stevie and John. I miss this whole fight. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely always had the best comebacks. Oh, yeah, I know. Yeah. For sure. Jim Oh, and he, Brian passed away. Yeah. 
I didn't know him or him, but he's the one that froze by Westgate. Yeah, Brittany. Yeah. And this is our mayor. <laughs> Erwin's the mayor? Yeah. Good to know. I'll have to pay my respects. Oh, this is the yeah. <laughs> you can see so clearly how um, homelessness and you know everything that led to them being homeless has affected them so it's you can't turn away from that face and forget about it it's it's too hard <laughs> that, that's the way it goes we chose our way hmm. sometimes we don't but a lot of times it happens that's the only thing that saddens me about this place. You know, cause that one last year, so many people died in, within a short period of time. And it was real, like, it was a little sad, you know, especially when you see your friends go away. Like, yeah. When am I going next? <laughs> oh, you're not going anywhere. I think you're still here to give us a lot of trouble. <laughs> I like your t-shirt. Yeah, yeah, it's cool. <laughs> it's very cute. Yeah. Everything that I see, good, bad, and ugly, is just a reminder of resiliency to me. So, something can happen with a client, um, whatever that is, and it's just a matter of like having that perspective of like, you know, they're still gonna, like they're making it through, they're gonna be okay, they're gonna get up tomorrow, I'll see them tomorrow, we'll talk again tomorrow. Just seeing everything that they go through and the fact that like they can still laugh, make jokes, you know, seek out their friends for support, seek out us, like just shows me just how much, um, how much they like how much strength they have so I guess as an organization I would say it is definitely about the idea of hope but I don't think I think each person's interaction inspires but it's what everybody does as a whole that really brings someone back to that feeling of that they're human and they deserve they just as much as everybody else <laughs>